When trying to create visuals involving multiple tables which are not related in Power BI Desktop, users can automatically detect relationships or they can also set them up manually uh, so that their visualizations work as they expect. In order to access this functionality, simply create a visual involving multiple fields from tables that are unrelated. For instance, we're going to go into the project hours table and we're going to bring in the um, uh, project from company projects and we're going to bring in the uh, total hours from project hours and then we're going to bring in uh, the uh, employee ID from the company employee table. As soon as we do this, you'll find out that uh, the visual can't be displayed and there's this fix this button that when you click, it will actually suggest you that there might be missing relationships between these fields. Now we can either use auto detect or we could manually create these relationships. Let's go and try auto detect. Relationship detection completes quickly and uh, it actually found two new relationships uh, within this model. Now once we close, you can see how the visual is rendered properly and it actually shows uh, the three columns that you would expect to see uh, in this table based on the three fields that we had selected before. In addition to automatic relationship detection, there's a full set of capabilities inside Power BI Desktop to actually define and create relationships uh, within the relationship view. This view is accessible from the left side of the Power BI Desktop window, and it will give you a view of all of the tables and relationships that exist within the current Power BI Desktop file. From here, you can actually interact with these tables. You can resize them, reorder them in the screen. You also have zoom controls to zoom in, zoom in or zoom out. You can also uh, use the feed to screen control, uh, and you can also um, reset the layout. So for instance, I dragged a few fields around and a few tables around and relationships so that it, it break the uh, default layout. I can always click the reset button to actually go back to the original state. 